Okay, so I just wanted to show you the dip or dressing, whatever you want to call it, um, that I'm making today. I've been eating overt fat-free and salt-free for the last, um, well, today's the fourth day. Um, so to help me with that, I really like my savory foods. I've been wanting to eat something savory and I felt this dressing has really helped me a lot. It's kind of sweet, it's this kind of sweet and savory, which is something I never used to pitch myself eating. Um, but I've actually, my tastes have changed a lot over the last couple of years and I actually have I been really enjoying like this. I give you real good taste buds. <laughs> Still that trash, you can eat it over there, you <laughs> taking all the credit for it. <laughs> um, okay, so first what I like to put in is the tomatoes. I put the tomatoes in first because when it blends, the tomatoes uh, makes it quite watery and can often help you avoid needing to add any extra water so it keeps the flavors much more intense then i'm going to add this last little bit of cactus we've got left over for that we picked the other day and then i'm going to add the peppers next because again they're higher in water content so they help it blend up good without needing any extra water hopefully then i've got some green onions here, or spring onions as we know them um, as called from where I'm from, or even scallions, I know they call them a lot in some places. And then I'm going to add this whole lot of cilantro, that's where a lot of the flavour comes from. And then I've got these dates here, I've already taken the um, seeds out, the stones out, so they're all ready to just put in. Okay. Then I'm going to add this hot pepper in. I like the sauce nice and spicy. I think that's the most essential part, to be honest. Originally, actually, I was only going to blend dates and the hot pepper together. Um, but being I am the way I am, I decided to add all this other stuff in. Um, and I'm glad I did because I really like how it tastes. But anyway, um, the pepper's called Serrano, something like that. Um, according to Kaylin, anyway. If you're, if you're following like the Dr. Sabi diet, um, then you can use habanero, cayenne, African bird pepper. Um, you know, one of the hot peppers that are on the list. Um, I'm just using this today because that's what I've got. So yeah, I'm just going to add that up in there. The baby's being grumpy because he wants to eat it, but I'm not going to give that to him. Um, okay, so that's basically everything. Okay, so I've got all that in the jug there. And I'm going to go away and blend all this up. And then I'll maybe show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so here it is after I've blended it. It's, it just really looks like date paste. Um, because it essentially just is. It's just sort of a date paste that's been made more um, savory with the types of ingredients that were added to it. Dates are really the main ingredient. Um, which does make what I eat with it more filling. Um, so yeah, I mean, all, all I'm using this is more like a dip. I'm gonna cut up some cucumber, some coyote squash. I'm gonna have some lettuce, um, some tomatoes, maybe a little bit of red pepper. And I'm just gonna dip that in this. And then that will be my savory food for the day. Um, other than that, I just had some fruit a little while ago after I finished in my squats. And that's me good for the day. Um, but yeah, this has been keeping me going um, without eating the fats and the salt. There would have been a time when I probably would have added some salt to this, but now I've seen how I don't really need to be adding salt to everything like it was, which is really good. Um, and I've definitely been seeing the improvements. I've been feeling much, much better without the salt. So Yeah, so if there's anything else you'd like to see, anything else that you see me making if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram then just let me know and I'll see if I can get around to making a video I know some people have asked me to make a video on the um, onion rings the raw onion rings so I'll probably try make that sometime soon um, when I'm next making it for my family 
Um, I think that's about it really. I just quickly wanted to show you this at the end of the video. Um, these are some chips I'm making and I basically used the date sauce I just showed you to make them. So they're also low fat and salt free. These I made with jicama and I used a mandolin slice to make them thin and I just coated them in the sauce and put them in the dehydrator. They're not 100% ready yet, they're still a little bit soft but I'm gonna put them back in the dehydrator until they get crunchy. And then you see I also did some of the tomatoes covered in the sauce. So they taste really good, they've got some really delicious flavour on them. So yeah, so that's just another little um, snack you can make. So it's, um, you know, low fat and salt free. You could also use um, a type of squash, pretty much any type of squash would work. Again, just thinly slice it with a mandolin slicer, coat it in the sauce and then put it in the dehydrator. My son already tried one of these and he thinks they taste good. I've tried one, I think it tastes good. Actually, I wanted to mention the sauce to me tastes a little bit like, I'm from the UK originally and we have something called brown sauce there and it tastes a little bit like brown sauce to me because it has that um, kind of sweet but spicy flavor like brown sauce has. Um, so if you're looking for a raw alternative to that then this could possibly work for you, although it's been a really long time since I had um, brown sauce. So maybe I'm wrong, but it does taste a bit like that. And also I wanted to mention, you can also add some lime in this sauce. I have added it, I've made this sauce about three times now. And um, except for this occasion when I recorded it, I have actually added lime in other occasions. So that's something you can add in also. But yeah, so... I'm going to enjoy these probably either later today or tomorrow. And I've definitely got lots more ideas um, in my head of things I want to do that are also low fat, raw and salt free as well as oil, oil free as always. Okay so I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and feel free to comment with any questions or suggestions and also if you haven't already please subscribe and then you'll see our upcoming videos thank you goodbye